king. Well, this is the first example from the notebook on page 53. So as you can see here, we do not have simple expression. No. This is binomial to the second to the third degree combination of different elements. But we can detect that we have common factor. What we have here, common factor. So if we take outside the parentheses x plus 5, like if we are multiplying by x plus 5. By the same way to facilitate your work for the beginners, because I will multiply by x plus 5, I can divide all factors by x plus 5, by x plus 5. This is the first common factor. The second common factor is x squared minus 3. Uh, because I will multiply by this factor, I can divide also all elements by x2 minus 3 by x2 minus 3. Resulting right now that I can cancel these two elements, these two elements, that one, and square, we have two times, one and one. So what remains inside from here? Only one minus 3 x2 minus 3 first degree so final answer times 1 minus 3 times x2 minus 3 you can still simplify. Now you have the answer, what we can still simplify. What we have here is one minus three x squared minus time minus is plus nine. So finally we have here three x two negative plus 10 plus 10 times x2 minus 3 times x plus 5, which is the final answer, the content of the topic. Why we need the solution in factored form and not in expanded form? Let me explain because that's very important that you know why you are doing by this way. When working in calculus further, yeah, this is factorization before calculus, this is because you want to solve, for example, this equation e equals to zero, let's suppose, and it comes from somewhere y equals to that equals to zero means that you have a graph and you are looking for y equals to zero what means y equals to zero you are looking for the interceptions but in this case you have one real solution x1 x2 and probably three others because five degree complex imaginary if they are complex imaginary no interception with axis x everything about that is explained on the lectures that you had to to review on youtube remember youtube uses smart intelligence software so in calculus for example you are looking for the solutions 
or for the derivative or for the integrals. If you are looking for the solutions equals to zero, that one, this is the only way you can use to apply zero product rule. So zero product rule, three elements, A, B, C equals to zero. It can be equals to zero when A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero or C is equal to zero. Zero times anything is zero. So based on this rule, you can write x plus 5 equals to 0, x2 minus 3 equals to 0, minus 3, x2 plus 10 equals to 0. And now you solve these three equations and you get the result you were looking for. Now we, know we are not working with the solutions. I am showing you only the importance of factoring complex expressions. Let's do another example, and if any question, let me know, please. Well, number two. Now we have here x squared minus 5 squared times x plus 5 to the half. Let me see. Is positive or negative? I think it's minus half. Yes, it is correct. So, what is confused in this example? First of all, fraction on the exponent. And secondly, one of them is negative. To facilitate the visualization of the solution, you can write by this way. So negative sign, switch the floor. This is x2 minus 5 squared divided by x plus 5. What is 1 half on the exponent? Square root. Plus. Now the square root is on numerator. Square root of x plus 5 times x2 minus 5 to the first power divided by 1 if we can consider that we have a fraction to, to use the same format. You don't need to do all this operation. When you get practice, you will solve directly. In some cases, the figure of the square root creates some complication. At the beginning, if this is the case, you can rewrite it as x to o, or simplest. Replace everything. Consider that you have x to minus 5 a equals to a. Consider that square root of x plus 5 is b. You don't need to do that. I am telling you, you can solve directly mentally, but it will be possible after getting some practice, after developing a little the part of the brain which solves this type of examples. And after developing this part, you will solve mentally very fast. So we have here a squared divided by b plus a b equals to something. That's 
our equation. And there are many ways to solve it. One of them by creating common denominator times b divided by b. And we can rewrite common denominator b here a2 plus a b2 now we can factor we can factor a times a plus b2 divided by b that's one option and you can replace you can replace. So this will be. Twenty five minus X squared minus sixteen divided by five. All of them divided by x minus 4. One more time. It depends for what you are simplifying. If you are simplifying to apply later zero product rule, you need factors. If you are simplifying because the question is simplified, so we have to try to solve everything. So the first thing we we need on the numerator common denominator. And I, it can be created multiplying and dividing 25 by 5. By the same way, if we want to consider that we have general common denominator, we can divide by 1 and multiply by 5 and divide by 5. This is one way. One way. So now we have here 125 minus x2 minus 16. So we have here different expressions divided by 5 5 x minus 4 divided by 5 ah uh, we can solve this problem using cross multiplication using cross multiplication 125 minus x2 minus 16 divided by 5 times 5 divided by 5 x minus 4 so now if we simplify we have final solution in addition, we have to consider that we have here a difference of a square. So we could use in this position x plus 4 times x minus 4. This is one option. Which really is not necessary, but you can use. And now this is equals to 125 minus x2. I can use minus time minus minus time plus. 
plus 16 divided by 5x minus 4. One option, minus, minus 4, one option. The second one, 125 plus 16 will be 141, positive, and here x2. But I don't want to use, I don't want to use x2 negative, so I will multiply everything by minus 1, and now plus and minus, and on the denominator, 5 times x minus 4. What? Simple expression. If you were looking, if you were looking for factor of form, any question? No question. Let's do another, another example. x plus 2 squared divided by x2 minus 4 minus x minus 2 divided by 2, all of them divided by x2 minus 4 divided by 2. Please do the same, use the same methodology. If difficult to visualize what we have to do, you can replace the elements. You can replace all of them. That we have here difference of a square. If I solve this difference of a square, x2 minus 4, this is equal to x plus 2 times x minus 2. If any one of you forgot special product rules, factorization of the difference of the square, of the perfect square trinomial, etc. So I recommend that you check the first 15 pages of my notebook where I included quick review of the most important topic that I know that my students as a rule forgot. Not only our simplification, but let's see. On the top, we have x plus 2 squared. On the bottom, we have x plus 2 times x minus 2. Minus x minus 2 divided by 2. On the denominator, x plus 2 times x minus 2 divided by 2. It looks now easier, simplest, because I can cancel this. And now, no. No second degree, we have here x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 minus x minus 2 divided by 2 divided by x plus 2 times x minus 2 divided by 2. I can create a common denominator. The common denominator will be x minus 2 times 2 because this number is divisible by x plus minus 2, is divisible by 2, is divisible by 2. This is one way. 
The second one, we can directly perform cross multiplication. We can perform directly the division and check what is the result. Let's do. So, x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 minus x minus 2 divided by 2 times 2 divided by x minus 2 times x plus 2. I have x plus 2, x minus 2. If we perform this multiplication, we can cancel some elements and we will have the solution in our hands. Method 1. Method 2, I can create a common denominator which means that a priori I will have performed the cross multiplication. So let's do parallel because we are reviewing how to add. And this is a lecture, not for the algebra specialists, this is like a lecture for the children who are looking how to do that first time in their life. Let's create common denominator multiplying by 2, multiplying by x minus 2, and multiplying by x minus 2, and dividing by x minus 2. That's our new expression with common denominator that we will cancel. Why we will cancel? Because if you have something divided by 3, something divided by 3, this is equal to that division. It's the same. One third of this one is equal to one third of the one half equals to one half. One equals to one. So logically, that's very important that you follow logic every time. The same situation when we work it with fractions. Why you don't know? Uh, sorry. Why you don't like fractions? Do you know why you don't like fractions? Let me interrupt the class. This, this conversation probably will be uh, profitable for you than the real class. Tell me why you don't like fractions. Please help me to understand why you don't like fractions. Anyone, provide the opinion. Help others. Are you scared to speak? Are you listening to me? Yes or no? Yeah, we're listening. O okay, so why, 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 why you don't like fractions? You don't want to. I used to not like fractions because I didn't know about them, but I learned a little more about them, so it's not, they're not too scary anymore. <laughs> We spoke about fractions before, yes or no? You and I know. No, in this class we never spoke about fractions. Okay, I will show you why you don't like fractions. You don't like fractions because you don't know what is a fraction. No, oh, like, okay, okay. This is a fraction, correct? Numerator over denominator. I 
need that you tell me the definition. What is a numerator? Tell me, please, your opinion. What is the numerator? I need your answer to continue my class. You don't know what is a numerator. If you cannot define what is numerator, the, the language, the definition, the software, your hardware cannot work. Your hardware is not working because you do not have software. Prepare it for your hardware. What is a numerator? Definition. Any opinion? The number on the top of the fraction. Eh? The number on the top of the fraction. He says the number on the top. And what is the denominator? The number on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Who is he? He is. Uh, he has the head on the top uh, um, um, and foot <laughs> on the bottom. No. The numerator is the amount. It represents the amount. How many? How many? What? How many? What? The denomination. How many? What? For example, three banana, that's a fraction, plus four apples. You cannot add them because they have different denominations. Let's suppose that you have add one half pizza plus one third pizza. You have to add these two pieces. And you cannot add because they are different different denominations. You need common denominator. You have to use the scissors. You have to divide by this way, look. Scissors. Now everywhere you have one six. Here you have one, two, three, three, six. And here you have two, six. So the solution will be five, six. Arithmetically, you multiply this number by three and divide by three. This one by two and divide by two. And now you have three, six plus two, six, five, six. So, very, very simple. You know that, but you do not reali realize what is that. Because you are not paying attention to the definition of the math concepts every time, every time. Uh, because the definition of the fraction is not clear. For this reason, you cannot solve mentally very fast fractions. Fraction. The, the total is one dollar. You can you can divide in one half, one half, fifty cent, fifty cent. You can divide in a quarter, a quarter, twenty-five, 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 twenty-five. Now this is one quarter, one quarter. Quarter, one quarter. And before was one half, one half. So now if I if I tell you at mentally one half plus zero point seventy five plus three equals to what? Zero point 75 
plus 3 equals to what? Mentally, 10 seconds. You do this operation every day when you go to the Publix. Tell me the answer. Tell me the answer. What is half? 50 cents, 0 0.5 dollar. 50 cents, yeah. What is 75? 75 cents. Three quarter. And three, three dollar. Tell me the answer. Very simple, so simple that oh, the pain of the other. What number nine? Two X divided by square root of X minus two minus 2x divided by square root of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 square so one more time different ways we can create on the top common denominator and later perform cross multiplication. This will be one method. This will be one method. So times square root of x minus 2 divided by square root of x minus 2. Now we have on the numerator position square root of x minus 2. Here we have 2x minus 2x square root of x minus 2. And on the denominator square root of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 squared. So obviously we can perform cross multiplication. So for the first part 2x minus 2x square root of x minus 2 divided by square root of x minus 2 times now switch x minus 2 square divided by x minus 2 as you can see on the denominator, we have square root of x minus 2 squared, they cancel. So we have here x minus 2. On numerator, we can perform the multiplication. So we have here two ways to perform the multiplication. The first one we can factor first this term or not factoring 
and perform the multiplication. 2x times x minus 2 squared minus 2x. And now we have x minus 2 square root, which is to the half power, times x minus 2 squared. This is one way. Another way, because we have here x minus 2 squared and here x minus x, we can cancel this x minus 2 with this square. Eh? Can you see? Because here is a multiplication. We can cancel this one and this one. Resulting that now we have no denominators. But I want to review this method to show you something. Remember, my object is today is not get the solution and show you the procedure. But here we have 2x minus 2x times x minus 2 minus 2x times square root of x minus 2 times x minus 2. This is what we have right now. But question, how you multiply these two elements? Let's consider that x minus 2 is some number, a. And what you have here is a to one half times a to the second power. And you know when you have the same basis and different exponents working in multiplication, you add the exponents. Remember? So you have here a one half plus two. In arithmetics, one half plus two is equal to two one half. This is the only difference between algebra and arithmetics. In algebra, this is a multiplication of two times one half. In arithmetics, this is two one half, which is equal to two times two four plus one five half. Why? Because in order to add these two numbers I have to multiply by 2 divided by 2. 4 plus 1, 5. The denominator is 2. So the reality is that we have here x minus 2, 2, 5 over 2. Divided by x minus 2. Uh, these two numbers these two numbers, these two numbers, when working in this parenthesis, you can cancel directly this one, this one, resulting that now you have here 2x times x minus 2. But in that position, now you have x minus 2 to the 5 over 2 divided by x minus 2 to the first power, which is equal to the first power goes up as negative number. So what is that? Go back to this explanation. Look, a to 5 over 2 divided by 
a to the 1 is equal to a 5 over 2 minus 1. In order to solve this exponent, 5 over 2, let me take another color, 5 over 2 minus 1, we have to multiply by 2, divide by 2. And now we have a, 5 minus 2 is 3, divided by 2. So the reality is that we have here minus 2x times x minus 2 cube, cube divided by 2, or square root of 2. A square root of x plus 2 cubed. So this will work as a final answer. From here, from here we have the same situation. Look, a to 1 half times a to the 1. So, the result will be 1 1 half, which is equal to a to 3 half, with exactly the same answer, exactly the same answer. So, we can go faster by this way when we are reviewing the step-by-step -step solution, which really is confused. So now we have here 2x times x minus 2 to 3 half with negative. And here what we have is 2x2 minus 4x. The reality is that this is one of our options to get the final result. Any question, please? Probably you ask why we have here different answer than the book. No, we do not have different. It's different representation. The same situation in our previous example. Different representation. But I can get here common factor. I can write 2x. Common factor is, is, yes, 2x, 2x, and x minus 2, x minus 2, 2x times x minus 2, times, from here, 1, minus square root of x minus 2. Another another form to express the solution. But now using simple polynomials which do not require Wolfram Alpha. Why? You will see there are polynomials not ready to, to get this solution. So if when solving the homework you do not get the, the same solution, all these solutions are correct. Uh, if you get different solution, don't worry. Try to recheck using Wolfram Alpha, and you will see that the system provides the same solution. All these solutions are checked with Wolfram Alpha, and you will see. But not Wolfram Alpha from Blackboard, from your home. Please, another question. Now we have the same solution, correct? 
I think that here is, is let me see. Yeah, we, we, we can we can switch and use minus in front. We can switch and use minus in front. Doesn't matter. Any question, please. Eh? Number one. How do you get the number one the solution? Number one, which uh, the, the, the the first example, you mean? Or no, in the answer, where do you get the number one? Ah, the number here, the number one from where? Because look, yeah. but look in this element, in this element, if I multiply by one, one time this element is that one and the square root time this element will be 2x 2x times x minus 2 times the square root got it? can you visualize? If if not let me let me yeah. let, ah if not let me know and I will explain. Could be that my explanation is not the best. I will improve. So for me your questions are very important because if you do not understand any detail, don't think that this is your fault. Be confident. Ask. Could be that I didn't explain the best way. I am human also. Please, any other question? So these examples are not easy. Some of them are easier. Some of them very. But some of them very difficult. If no more question, goodbye. I will close. I will close the session. We have still time. We can we can sit here as much as you want. No, up to the end of the class. No class, no question. Goodbye. Have a good day. I Professor. will.